Well, hello, this is Colonial Puppet, and this is part three of Haunted Cities. This game is called Gloom Puke. It's kind of like Grandmother, it seems. It's We're back to the MS-DOS era. No looking around with the mouse, just kind of... No, uh, no... I guess it's Z movements, or no Y movements. Only on the X-axis, I guess. Who's this? Oh, it's a little chicken, man. Gregory. Uh, let's save Gregory. Ah, uh, no, let's, uh, let's talk to Gregory. Or no, let's, uh... Let's see the... Oh, the draw distance is interesting. Anyway, uh... Oh, there's a bunch of people. Torvald. Alright, so... Oh, looks like there's a bunch of people to talk to. This is called Gloom Puke. I don't know if I said that. We're on folder two of the Haunted Cities. I'm probably repeating myself right now. We got some nice, uh, some nice uh, sculptures here. Some obelisks. Oh wait, no, those are broken pillars. See, they're going for the the vaporwave aesthetic. What's going here? Haha. Ooh. Cute. But yeah, anyway, again, going into this blind, really nothing to, uh, no, uh, no backstory, nothing like that, just kind of taking in the world. Ooh, what are these? Got some, got some diamonds. This looks like something we can, uh, walk up to. Who are you? Vivian, let's click to talk. Oh, hello there, kind spirit. I have never seen you before. You must be new. Welcome. I am new. My name is Viv Vivian. I am the temple key. Oh, shit. What may I do for you? Uh, what's up with this temple? What do I look like? I want to know what I look like. Well, you're very much like a shawl made of spite. Oh, spiders with draped across the head and shoulders of an Oh, my God. I can't read that fast. Very fetching, I must say. Thank All right. Anything else, dear? Uh, what's up with this temple? It's quite lovely, isn't it? We're all very glad. Oh, fuck. The water and the fountain all glows so beautifully. And those great big jewels are nice, too. Very good environment for storytelling, all in all. Well. So we're sure. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Anything else, dear? Well, I guess since you said temples are for telling stories, I want you to tell me. I'd be delighted to. Hopefully I can read it. Once so upon a time, there was a ladybug made it completely out of a pearl. The ladybug was very vain because she knew that she was beautiful and rare. Every day, she would walk past the other insects, preening and priming and sparkling in the sun. Wow. One day, all of the insects decided that they'd had enough. They went to an old jeweler who lived in the woods and told him that there was a rare pearl in the forest. The jeweler went looking for the pearl and found that the two got to talking and the ladybug was dismayed. Why would they try and do this to me? She asked the jeweler. Maybe you're being a bit of an asshole, the jeweler suggested. Yeah, that's probably it. The ladybug said it, so she stopped. And they all lived happily ever after. Uh, I love happy endings. Jump the shark hard with that one, huh? I love happy uh, Let's be positive. Aren't they en enchanting? Anything else, dear? Nothing, uh, but thank you. Be well, spirit. Thank you. Vivian seems nice. I'm sure, uh, Vivian will continue to be nice throughout this game. Because as we know, these, uh, these Haunted Cities games maintain their wholesome kind of... Ooh. Uh... Bethany and Ursula. Hello, friendly spirit. Hello, kindly wraith. We are Bethany and Ursula. I could have guessed that. Ursula and Bethany. Oh, they're kooky. We're keepers of the temple crystals. Have you any questions for us? Yes. Uh, who's who? What can I tell? What can you tell me about this temple? What's up with the crystals? Who's who? Bethany, I am Bethany, and she's our son. <laughs> you have any questions for us? That's funny. Uh, can you tell me about this temple? 
This is a place for healing. Okay, so we got a storyteller, a healer, a place for stories. A place for jewels. A place for stars. A place for smoke. A place for candles. We like it here. Yeah, that sounds nice. Have you any questions for us? Why, yes. What's up with the crystals? They hold up the sky. Uh-oh. They fill up the sea. They teach the worms to see. <laughs> they teach the leaves to dance. They give the stars their colors. They give the night its breath. They're pretty okay. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any questions? Uh... What do you know about the islands? A desert full of bones and shrapnel. That doesn't sound too good. A swamp full of teeth and ambition. A temple full of lights and whispers. A playground full of ghosts. A menagerie of dreamers. A burnt page adrift upon a secret lake. These are very poetic birds. Terrible public transportation services. Not a single bathroom, not one. It's weird. You have any questions for us? I think that's all the ones. Now, nah, see you later. Goodbye. I like how their heads kind of bob up and down. This game has a sense of humor, it seems. I wonder if it's trying to emulate the, uh... You know. So we don't know what the fountain does, I guess. I wonder if it's trying to emulate, like, the, uh... MMO RPG kind of aesthetic the early ones like uh was it 3D worlds viewer 3D space traveler it's a uh, leave I would like to talk to the chicken but let me just make sure there isn't anything hiding behind this here temple nothing I see you again what was the chicken's name Gregory, let's... Hello there, Traveler. Welcome to the Island of Blood Monster Ghost. Not the official name, of course. I made it up. Catchy, huh? What can I do for you? What is this place? Wow, I just told you that. <laughs> uh, what's going on around here? Not a lot, truth be told. Some of the others are investigating that pyramid over there. Margaret and her courtiers are hanging... I can't read temple near you is certainly a building. It is. Uh, we know what the temple is. I don't know what the a pyramid. Yes, nobody's really sure why it's there. Not that it matters much. Just a pyramid. Yeah. Pyramids are never important or interesting. Literally never. But you're free to hang out there and wallow around in sand. Anything else? Uh, Swamp Castle? Yep, good old castle Gloom Puke. They say each of her stones is haunted by a separate ghost, which is obviously bullshit. <laughs> but the cool kind of bullshit, you know? Fun to think about. They make good food there, anyway. Anything else? Uh, temple? That's right, and it's an alright temple, I suppose. Of course nobody here has any idea what the temple is for. So Vivian hangs out there and tells her nice stories. Ask her to tell you one. You'll love it. Understand? Love it. I thought we thought it was alright. Anything else? Um, so we got, we got the scoop on everything, but what is this place? Oh, I just told you that. Or no, who are you? That's... A Gregory, it's nice to meet you. I stand here and greet. I do that because I'm incapable of moving. <laughs> you're, the one, you're the only one, actually. That's a shame. It certainly is. Both of the things I said. Is there anything else you'd like to know? <laughs> uh, see ya. Farewell. Fare thee well. Alright. I like Gregory. I'm guessing the uh, pyramid somewhere over here. Or no, this is a gloom puke, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, let's let's leave Roderick for later. I kind of want to see what the uh, pyramid's all about. 
guessing we got the desert over here. Hey, that's a pyramid, all right. Oh, almost missed you there. Oh no, it's Black Philip. Ezekiel. Hail Traveler, I am the goat of woe, the woe goat. I am woe, I am the woe goat. Woe, oh woe. Woe to me, the goat who must dwell. You sound like, you sound like uh, film cow characters. I am the goat of woe. Uh, yeah, I picked up on that. You mock me, wandering spirit. You, <laughs> you thou cruel specter. I hope I didn't. I don't know, he's cursing me out. You have been woed, this goat. I'm... Uh, I'm sorry. Then it is fate that we should meet here this day. You, the ghost of sorrow. Ooh. And I, the goat of woe. Woe to you, sorrow, and to woe me. Why come ye to cruel loveless place, sorrow? Uh... I was birthed by malice and spat here by a cringing void. I'm just visiting. How fortunate that you can drift so. To drift as you do between uncounted dream. Fuck. To float like a lee and not be pinned. How do you want to read, man? God damn it, I have so much woe. <laughs> can you tell me about this place? Little I fear, the islands locked together adrift in silence, and we, its denizens, without purpose or movement, damn to stand sentinel like. <laughs> It'd be easier if this, uh, this, this typeface is a little easier to... Uh, cool. Bye. I do like, I do like this woe goat. This is a good, uh, screenshot. I'll use it for the video. Or wait, no. Oh, darn it. Never mind. He's to the left. I need him to be to the right for the thumbnails. Let's go in the uh, the pyramid. See what's in here. <laughs> I love the music. It sounds like uh, Adventure Time. Oh, nice rugs. Who's this over here? Oh, I got a. Is that a? Catherine looks like a, uh, don't tell me, uh, not a jackal, but there's a hyena. It looks like a hyena. Oh, this is so fascinating. My goodness, yes, unbelievable. Those angels, those markings, so exquisite. You there, take a look at this sigil. What did you see when you look at it? How do you interpret it? A runic eye. I wish I knew it. Let's see which one which one speaks to us the most. You haven't shown me anything or moved at all. A container character that alters the meaning of lesser sights. I'm not gonna bullshit her. You haven't really. Oh, how interesting! What curious perception you specters have. How delightful, unhelpful. <laughs> how delightfully unhelpful. So then, how may I help you, strange specter? What's up with this pyramid? Haven't the foggiest. <laughs> Just sort of appeared one day, all full of cool mysteries. I love studying things. Her eyes go very wide and she begins breathing heavily. Studying things makes me feel really good. I fucking love knowledge. I fucking love science. I need anything else? Uh, what do you do here? I'm the foremost linguist and archaeologist in all of... Uh, I set up this expedition and I'm focusing my studies on all those bright glowing high... <laughs> Hieroglyphs that are floating around. Right on. I don't see any glowing. Okay, right on. I, mean, I kind of get that they. Uh, do you know anything about the islands? You mean the three islands we're on? Not really, I'm afraid. I have a theory that each island is from totally different place. They each belong to different distant worlds and were then separated from them somehow and made to come together by some means. What do you think? Sounds plausible? As much as anything else, I guess. Really? Wow, thanks. Nobody ever thought so before. Need anything else? I think we got as much as we can. Take care. Enjoy the mysterious pyramid. I will. Oh, these are what they're talking about. Yeah. I don't know. Who 
Who's that up there? I'll talk to the bunny next. Hmm, so hello there. And what are you supposed to be? Some sort of fetch? Some manner of rusty nail elemental? <laughs> I think he's roasting me. Try not to touch anything. Oh no, anything around here is very mysterious and valuable. This guy's a negative. Did you have any questions? Did you have a question? Uh, who are you? My name is Theresa. Theresa. I can't speak. I specialize in pyramids, tombs, mysteries, ghost worlds, sunken cities, doom mazes. Oh, as you can see, I'm a very accomplished and respected scholar. You can tell because of all those true things I just said. Is there something else? It sounds like they would know. Uh, what's the story with the pyramids? That would seem to be the million... <laughs> Because period's full of mysteries and artifacts. It's much to be expected. What we don't know is where the pyramids came from, or indeed why it came here at all. But then we don't know that about most things here, or even ourselves, really. She stares off in the middle distance for a very long time. I believe I've depressed myself. <laughs> is there something else? No. Nah. Goodbye, then. Oh. All right. Colin, my boy. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm recording a, a, a playthrough of a spooky game. And I, it's probably picking you up. Oh, no way. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, hey. Oh, shit. It's probably my YouTube Nah, I can't hear it. Uh, hey guys, um, uh, excited to be on stream, this is, like, um, <laughs> I guess I could stream the video. Alright, I'm back. I love urns, apparently I said. I forgot I was in Discord. I'm glad for you, though. He's not listening to you anymore. Oh no, he's too busy attempting to fit his head inside of his own urns. He's doing a lot of whimpering. S uh, sacks to snow, look upon my urns. So fine, so rare, so delicate. It sounds like that bug that, uh, that was in Vivian's story. That's probably it, really. I missed a lot of... I, I love urns. I'm glad for you. He's not listening to you anymore. Wait, am I stuck in a loop with this man? Doing a lot of whimpering. I hope I'm not. Okay, yeah, let's... Was there anything else I could say look upon my urns so fine so rare so delicate nope all right let's leave sax this water wine or sand yes we get it you like your urns buddy that's probably it really i love urns i won't read this i'm glad for you all right all right i'm clicking as fast as i can but it all right Anyway, this music. So we so we met everybody there is to meet. Not that many secrets in this uh, in this pyramid, though. Let's uh, let's leave. <laughs> let's go to uh, the next the next stop. Did we talk to, uh, Bridgeman? No, we did not. We skipped, uh, this, this hound. Trovald. Boof. <laughs> boof, boof, boof. Boof. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, who's a good boy? I am, yeah. I, I get it. Boof. Oh, jeez. I wonder if Boof has something really profound to say. If, uh... Alright, have a good day. I know where that's... that <laughs> dialogue tree is going. Uh... Oh, wait, I can't leave? Oh, I can. Alright. This is a very wholesome game. This is my favorite so far, I think. This this feels like 
the, one of the more realized of, of the bunch. And this is the second folder, so I'm guessing uh, whoever's made these is... Uh, I, I think it's the same person. Again, I'll have their Patreon information in the description if you want to check them out, play these games. I'm, uh, I'm a little scared now. Actually, I'm not. This is... This music's too cute. There's a lot of people to talk to in here. Ooh, we got a library. What do you say? Okay. Uther snorts welcomingly. Uther snorts knowledgeably, gesturing. Uh, it snorts. Okay. What do you do here? Snorts proudly. So he's proud. <laughs> he's a librarian. <laughs> He's an archaeologist, too. That's cool. Snorts inquiringly. Can you tell me about Snorts uncertainly? <laughs> <laughs> Mysteriously. Okay. This <laughs> one patiently. Appreciatively. I see. Uh, nothing, thanks. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no more. Please. I get it. I get it. I get it. Nothing, thanks. Yes, yes, yes. Let me leave. Let me leave. There we go. I'm starting to get a hang of that. You can't control how, how fast they, uh, or slow they, they, they say things. Just kind of gotta leave all you can. We got a frog. Guinevere, Guinevere. Hmm, who are you? Are you a ghost? What do you want? I don't know. Oh well. Welcome to Camp Gloom Puke. I can't exactly stop you from wandering around. But please be polite. Queen Margaret is very anxious today. Who's Margaret? Margaret is the queen of Gloom Puke Swamp. Not that there's much to be queen of. None of us really know anything about this place. We all simply appeared here somehow and we cannot leave. But Margaret said she always wanted to be queen. Aw, oh, we figured it couldn't hurt anything. <laughs> Fair enough. Is there anything else? Uh, I, I feel like I'm gonna get, yeah, we don't, no one knows why they're here or what they're doing. So I think this is like a meta, like we're in a video game. It's <laughs> something in books library. Ooh, there's books I can read? Is there anything else? Have a good day. Take care. That was a, that was a polite frog. Ooh. <laughs> I guess we can't interact with any of these things. Talk to the fox. See what he's up to. Mildred. Hello, love. Care to have your fortune told? Sure. Okay. Okay. What? Whoa. Roro Raggy. Ah, uh, nothing. Oh, geez. It's probably fine. It's just. Well, like, I don't know how often you eat spiders, but today might be a good day to cool it with that. <laughs> You're sort of unionizing and planning stuff from inside your body. Wow. Oh. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Have a good day, okay? <laughs> Thanks. Wait, no, I want to talk to you some more. Uh, can I... What are you doing here? Kitchen stuff and fortunes. That's okay with you. Yeah. Totally. Wonderful. I guess I guess Mildred doesn't really want to talk. That's okay. Hmm. Some barrels. I, I was afraid this place was gonna be like super dark compared to the others, but it these guys seem just as goofy. <laughs> 
I'm guessing this is Margaret. Yeah, this is Margaret. Look at this fucking throne. <laughs> Can you believe this bullshit? <laughs> Who the fuck sits in a throne this big? Who the fuck makes a throne this size? Oh god, I'm so mad. <laughs> Gonna be a oh, so yeah, that's right, she was anxious today. He has a pretty large share for sure, right? How can I be queen of anything like this? My foes will be all like, check out Margaret. <laughs> In her stupid fucking chair for giants. It's just snarling and snapping and squealing now. Uh, gonna be alright? I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I'm gonna give the queen a panic attack. And the queen, <laughs> I don't even know how to get, the, get a refund. <laughs> I can't send it back, mail doesn't exist here. I hate this. Margaret's hierarchy of needs have not been met. Alright. He's still screaming and waves politely. Aw. Sorry, Margaret. Now. The question is. Does this game have an end game? Or is it going to be like, uh... Pente. I think we talked to everyone there is to talk to. Do we talk to you? Oh, hi, hello. He's a fish. My name's Roderick, I'm the swamp monster. <laughs> Super nice to meet you. He's, he's so nice. It's nice to meet you too. Ah, being a swamp monster is great. I make so many friends. Need anything else? <laughs> uh, what's up with this place? It's a swamp. Swamps are the best. I get to be a monster in them. Plus, there's a castle I get to guard. It's a sweet deal. Yeah. Need anything else? Uh, n no. Bye bye. All right. Well, I think that's it. I think that's the game. This is like the Twilight Zone of of like game packs, just like little vignettes. Of goofy, of, of spookiness, of goofiness, and everything in between. Let's see if, uh, yeah, this is still the same place, too. So, yeah. Um, I guess that's it. And, uh, this is a long episode, so I guess I'm gonna call it quits here. Uh, this has been Colonial Puppet. Thank you for checking in, uh, with part three of the. Uh, Haunted Cities pack uh, number two. Uh, episode three, pack two, game one. This game is called uh, Swamp Puke, or no, what was it called? I forget the name. It has puke in it. I think it's it's not Swamp Puke. I know that, but it's uh, oh, it's raining now. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, hmm. We're gonna have to pick this up because, again, this is a long episode, but there might actually be a uh, progress in this. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. Oh, do you know what I can do? Let's jump off. Let's see what happens. Goodbye. Oh, you just reset. Okay, I'm going to call it an episode here. And, uh, yeah, be sure to check out the next episode. Uh, and the previous episode, if you'd like to follow along. And other than that, this has been Colonial Puppet. Have a nice day.